The Conservative councillor's wife, Lucy Connolly, her 31-month sentence for inciting racial hatred offers a grim glimpse into the potential consequences of reckless online speech. Her post, which was penned in the aftermath of a devastating crime, vividly illustrates how inflammatory rhetoric can ignite real-world violence. And with her message viewed over 300,000 times, her words arguably contributed to a wave of rioting and arson directed at asylum seeker hotels. And Judge Inman's comments encapsulate society's desire for unity in the middle of tragedy, underlining how those who exploit such moments to sow hatred face substantial penalties. And she, of course, wasn't alone. She was the most extreme in the people who have been caught and um, exposed but it's a matter of degree. The fallout here is multifaceted. First, it underscores the law's seriousness about addressing hate speech, especially when it spirals into public disorder, so the consequences of that. And Connolly's remarks, laden with visceral anger, were intended to provoke, a fact reflected in her admission of guilt. And the court's response aligns with public sentiment as a recent YouGov polls uh, suggest that many believe social media firms should bear responsibility for curbing violent um, content. And so this, this impacts on the move at the moment to, to, uh, to, to focus on social media and to focus on the way social media can inflame a bad situation. Still, the recent release of prisoners to ease overcrowded jails has critics like Nigel Farage denouncing what they perceive as inconsistent enforcement a two-tier police system. But, of course, Farage himself was responsible for whipping up the uh, rhetoric at the time of those riots. And while he remains just on the um, legal side of the coin, uh, Lucy Connolly clearly moved on to the other side of the coin. But that, that division between one and the other is very, very small. And Farage was foolish, as was Lucy Connolly. It's a matter of degree of foolishness. Because I don't think either of them would have intended to provoke the sort of riots which took place. Connolly's case also raises the uncomfortable question of whether outrage, however misguided, should land individuals in jail. And the severity of her sentence indicates the court's commitment to deterring similar actions. But is law there to deter? Is law there to act as a deterrent? Well, well, of course, that's exactly, that's exactly what the Rwanda scheme was supposed to be. So you can't, you can't be approving of the Rwanda scheme on the one hand and then disapproving of the, the harsh sentencing of Lucy Connolly. For myself, I disapprove of the Rwanda scheme and I, I am shocked by the severity of this sentence. Um, but many of the people who are shocked by the severity of the sentence are people who would otherwise be banging the gong for uh, Suella Braverman's laws and the deterrent. Well, now you see the deterrent in action. Um, it speaks... Uh, this um, this court, court case speaks of the power and the danger of social media in stoking division. But it also um, speaks about the responsibility of um, ha uh, holding local office, of being a councillor, and that, that, that responsibility extends through the councillor's family. And with accusations of two-tier care ringing in the political discourse, it's clear that cases like Connolly's will continue to feed the ongoing debate about free speech, accountability and justice in the digital age. I think, uh, I, 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 for, for what it's worth, as I say, I think um, it's a very severe sentence for something which was not intended, I think, to be as... Uh, grotesquely instrumental in provoking violence 
as it turned out to be. Um, but, but this is the problem with putting things out into the public realm. Uh, and um, the, th the thoughtless rage and and she was not she was certainly not alone um but she was the wife of a conservative councillor and with that comes responsibility i'm i'm really sorry about the story um but i hope but i i i hope i hope it um it causes reflection rather than more of the two tier care um resentment <laughs>